Oh, great to see you. Um, Catalina's out today. Michael is expected to be here at about 7.20. Right, and we have a Hi. guest joining us. Hi, I'm, my name is Dylan I'm from UMass. I'm a, I'm a student in the planning department. I'm just sitting in on some public meetings this semester. Hi, Michael Nice yeah. to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. All right, so we have quite a bit of things to do this uh, this evening for our monthly meeting. One of the first is seeing if we need to make any adjustments to our resolution, partly, and Kelly, this is important to note, the resolution went out on the warrant. So how can we make any changes whatsoever to it? Because we could step up a town meeting saying we would like to amend what we have in the town warrant okay. to exclude this and this and include this and this. So it's absolutely a possibility. That's okay. my understanding. Okay. Yeah. Um, so um, what are some of your feelings about climate change? Who is statement? Linda on the Duke? Yes. And Linda evidently isn't going to make it. She has sent some of her comments. Yes, I and, see that. I'm just reading okay. them for the first time. Yeah. Okay. And here you go. No, no, she made more than I, yeah, she No, I don't have a lot of comments. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's one of my last thoughts. So Linda is a happy resident and town citizen who has a background in technical writing. And Linda has come in here you go marion for you and for you oh, to share. Yeah. <laughs> so i have two copies yeah i have of what one linda one. said and you have one that i emailed so linda is proposing that we simplify and bring it down to just shorten it mm -hmm. make it a little more accessible um have the resolution on one page and then possibly another page of definitions or articulations, things like that. So here's one. That's I, I have. Okay, one. great. Yeah. So if we want to go through, it, it's more or less the same thing, it compacted. Is this, is this her suggestion? That's her that's suggestion. Her, oh, okay. Um, and was kind of her to... Um, well, one thing she her. said, though, if you read closely in that very first paragraph, she says... The residents, the residents of the town of Hadley, blah, 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 and resolve to take immediate steps to develop a climate action plan for the town. That's a huge, bold statement. That's right in the first paragraph. So the residents are taking steps. The residents are supporting the town of Hadley to take steps. Like we have our. I don't know. It seems like, well, I think it's, I mean. Oh, do you think she's referring to the. Uh, can I just quickly say, so I agree that it, it changes who is the actor and it, that there's no way to have accountability to that. Yeah, you can't, we can't say that. You could yeah. not say that. And so the other piece is that, you know, one of the things we did, which I think was really smart, is to align ourselves with existing policy. Right. And this doesn't do any of that. No, it doesn't. And, you know, it gets actually much more, you know, mo mobilization must include whatever. It's yeah, this already is a goes little all into, over the place, if you ask me. Well, and it goes into the specifics that we wanted to avoid. Right, so, right, exactly. And it leaves out, which include, like, a real focus on flooding, but we also need to... Right in there with dealing with the dike and flooding is dealing with drought and stormwater. Whoa. Yes, and we need to be careful what we commit to around the flood, around the, in you know protecting right. the town. So, exactly, that's a big. So I think request. I forget what we say in ours, but to just say that we know we need a climate action plan, but not get too darn specific about it. So, you know, one of the things I'm getting more and more concerned about, and this is also in line with what happened with the green communities thing, which I know we'll come back to, is that we can do this until the cows come home and then we do nothing, right? 
they have they did the MVP study and nothing happened. Right. Well, and that's where and I feel the, like the green communities is that owned another city. green communities getting solar on the library and, and the senior center like somehow or another we have to use ourselves as somebody that applies that digs in a little and applies some pressure and yes you know let's follow up I I guess it would mean going to the select board or something and. I mean, to me, the plan, I mean, one thing Molly Keegan said when she was campaigning, she came to my apartment complex and was talking to some people. And and she said, you know, our planning commission doesn't do any planning. They react. Hmm. People come to them yeah. and say, can I do this? Can I do that? They don't do any future planning, yeah. which is. It's, it's not planning. It's reacting. And, you know, it's like, what the minute? You know, can they be in on this? So let's like, I don't know. We'll need them eventually. So, anyway, I think we do. We need to follow up on that MVP step one. So, given what we have here and some of the suggestions from Linda, is there anything that we can amend with what we shared at the information session, the latest version of our mm -hmm. two page? which I don't think is too excessive no. for what we're trying to say. Is there anything that we should change? Is there anything we can add? I think the thing that we, um, that I think we need to discuss or unpack is the whole piece about um, Hadley resident, uh, re I don't have the actual copy in front of me, but realizing that, I'll, not all, thank you. Um, Okay, come back to me, and I'm going to do my sure. research in Iowa. So I, I have a suggestion. So one comment I got um, from someone who was at this meeting um, was, why don't you include a preamble that states the purpose, our political purpose behind the resolution right up front in like one paragraph, just saying we want to come into alignment with state policy, and international communities, we want to be in solidarity. We want to put pressure on the state, uh, on our local government to take action. And this is an expression of, you know, the committee's concern, the town's concern that it sees this problem, whatever, you know, something of that nature. And then, and that could kind can, of, can I just quickly finish? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. That, then, um, in order to address the the length of it, we can probably be more like. You know, the language in so many laws, which has whereas, yeah. whereas, whereas, and just have a couple of, you know, sort of key points, we can take out some of the detail if we really feel like it's too long, and then say, and therefore it be resolved, and the resolution becomes a much shorter yeah. set of statements. I'd be, you know, happy to take a crack at sort of rewriting that, um, but I actually think what's in it is the exact right tone and you know we can look at the language that linda proposed but quite frankly that wishy-washy language doesn't work for me no and some of it's very specific but not, what we will do everything yeah. and well let's i think what you just said can you, will you do that i can try that yeah yeah so let's look at timing. We have one week until it's the... It's going to happen this the, weekend. The pre-game or whatever they call it. The they're, 20th is that. They're discussing forum. the warrant. And then it's the 27th. It's a town forum, I think they call it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can only do it this weekend. So basically, that's when it's going to happen. Okay. And then, you know, you guys can all react okay. to it in yeah. like one day turnaround and we can finalize it and be okay. with it. Yeah, that sounds really good. Helpful in that to add, you know, that X number of local towns, so many other towns have already declared. It's going to be one of the whereas. Yeah. yeah. So that, you know, we are not alone. Right. Whereas we have had a public forum and received input, yeah. you know, whatever. I'm going to include all of the, that. So you're going to throw in whereas a few times. Yeah. I, I think that's a good idea because it. Yeah. Are there things that we can establish today either must be included or could be taken out from what we have? So the, the thing that a few people bristled about, several people brought it up, or maybe the same group 
repeatedly was this ensure that the costs of such mobilization yes. efforts do not unfairly burden those who are economically mm -hmm. or socially disadvantaged or vulnerable. I think we do you think we should just leave that out. No. Okay. I think that it's important to have that. I think it's important to raise that issue. I think that, you know, I think one of the, maybe why it ra raises some hairs is like farmers feel disenfranchised, you know, they feel economically disadvantaged sometimes, and maybe that's part of the issue. One of the things we could do is in our resolution, you know, put something, I, I'm just, not, I don't have the language right, right, but something like, you know, that whatever plan is being established, um, reflect the concerns of the local community, including the farmers, the businesses, the socially disadvantaged. That might be a better way. Of yes. Something like that, yeah. that then right, right. gets yeah. right, right at, right. you know, yeah. everyone will be hurt. Yes. You also want to phrase it in the positive rather does not unfairly burden certain groups. Right, right. Because that just brings it's up sort like, of spin whoa, it. what are you yeah. talking yeah. about? Right. Yeah. Right. So um, that's I, I'm much happy much to, you know, yeah. Yeah. Do those kind of touchy yeah. points. Hi. Hi. So, you know, hi. Nice to see you. Um, so a number of us went over this, and this is already the second draft. And we really looked at sort of paragraph by paragraph and felt comfortable going out with it. Um, I'm just... Yeah, but the whole point of having our forum was to get feedback and yeah. possibly make some changes. Yeah. So, yeah. so I think if you know, if you're okay with it, I'll give it a try, and please. and we can, you know, I won't change the sort of the substance of it, but you know, separating a, a preamble from the whereases, the, the motivation to with the, what we actually resolve. Okay. Yeah, I think that sounds really good. Yeah. Okay. Um, and again, we just have to be careful on the timing. I'm away for part of Sunday afternoon. It, you know, just send it by Google Doc or something that sort of way to all the committee members. We can take a quick look, but then in order to make enough copies and get it out, maybe to the forum and then to the whole town meeting. That sounds great. Yeah. 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 And I um, just want to point out that this is so. This is John, who I mentioned might be hey, coming tonight. Okay. Yeah, hi. and he was at the, the forum as well. So I thought. Yeah. Cool. Um, hi. Are you a happy person? I am. Uh, I'm more happy. No, I'll be here. Okay. Um, we are going over the resolution for the climate emergency, mm -hmm. and I didn't know if there were any thoughts you had from that other meeting. Anything that you wanted to share? Um, honestly, I didn't look at that very closely before I came. That's so. fine. Yeah. You, you didn't know there'd be homework here. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a specific reason why you're here? You just want to... The meeting was interesting. A lot of pushback. So. Yeah, that's what we're talking about now. Like yeah. trying to change it a little bit so people are more comfortable with what it says and they don't feel... Yeah, I, I want, I'm a member of Citizens Climate Lobby. Yeah, we had a good pair of chiropractic and dividend. So um, I'm used to push back. But the reason I like that group is because they do, a lot of the people view climate change as an opportunity, the strength of the economy, instead of the scary thing that that is, but, you know, yeah. this big change that may or may not be good for people. So. Yeah, I think we can bring that framing up as well. You know, we have it in there already, but we can bring it up higher. Yeah, like I, I feel like the state is there offering money for the, you know, in theory, the the, the dam or you know, some remediation from the river. Yeah. But they're also offering money for charging stations. And we have this huge commercial district. Like in 20 years, if you don't have charging stations in your commercial district, you might be a dinosaur. And that planning starts now. It takes yeah. the municipal planning process takes decades. Yeah. You so. know, there's one other link um that you just reminded me of. Um so I'm on the Pioneer Valley Planning Commission's climate action team, basically, which is essentially bringing town representatives from all over Pioneer Valley together. And um one of the so they're in the process right now of writing basically a strategic plan that has a big chapter on climate. 
And um, it includes a whole bunch of things on energy, you know, transportation. How to meet and, the benchmarks. And waste, you know, and including on adaptation and resilience. And what's interesting about it is that the way it's stated is, you know, who is in charge of doing all these things? Municipalities or, you know, whatever, right? They don't have any control over what we do, but it is a context that basically sets a, a, a framework for us working together and getting assistance from the planning commission. Yeah. So I think that could be another whereas to kind of be also in in sync and collaborate with our community partners. Yeah. Hi, Michael. Welcome. Hey, Michael. Hi there. Hi. So anyway, I think that's maybe something we could add in there and you know link us to our our neighboring communities one of linda's concern is the language wasn't accessible and stay away from the whereas is in the legalese how do you feel about going back with that route i know she was trying to make her version of the statement super friendly and all of that um well, I don't think we were legal before, and I think it's an insult. I mean, half yeah. people are smart. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think, I didn't hear that it didn't speak to people. People had other opinions about it. Right, they, under they understood they very clearly what it said. About it. So, but some of it, I think, made them nervous. And maybe, you know, you know, because she mentioned like a fact sheet. I mean, maybe some of it could literally be in a fact sheet that we hand out as a as a second piece of paper. I don't know. But. I went online today looking at climate change fact sheets. I mean, that's a lot of work to put together a fact sheet. Yeah. It, it really is. I mean, we've had speakers come and the Nobody's same the same up. information about, you know, the planet is warming, the oceans are warming, and that's what is causing more precipitation and stronger storms and so yeah, we, you know, it's like we need to make our statement and why this is important and why we need to react on this and why we need to react now. Do you think that uh, do you think that she meant the fact she about uh, the climate change or do you think she just yeah. oh she that's what she that. said. Yeah. I mean what yeah. she what she I recommended was I was like too bad you didn't throw that together real quick along with this thing that you wrote, you know? Because it's a lot of work. All right. This fucking just need to actually summarize the longer version that people could just have access. I think it's a good idea. I just don't think she well, and, you know, Linda was invited. I was hoping to find out exactly what all the, the meanings behind what she said. Um, she couldn't make it tonight, so I what? I don't you know I don't think it. I, I really have a hard time believing that this. This is offensive to, I mean, our version is offensive and not understandable. I think it's, it's written very clearly. I think it, you know, I feel like 2000 other communities have managed to do this, <laughs> including some like Hadley. So I just feel like that's not the issue. If we organize it more quickly, make it, you know, quicker to read, uh, long text is always hard. So if it's more bullety in yeah. appearance, but still says the same thing, separates the motivation from the, you know, the sort of the intent, the motivations, and then the resolution. I think it's as clear as we can no, get. No, I think that, that reorganization yeah. that you're talking about will make a big difference. Go ahead. That's a good yeah. next move. Let's yeah. try it in I version we, three, and we, that's a good I, thing to I go. I think this is like going yeah. in a very different direction. And in right. case you hadn't seen it, I don't know if you're on the town list, but the town actually put out the warrant today and they published sort of our second version of the climate change. So we'd have to just make some copies to pass out a town meeting. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, wait a minute. Won't it be part in the warrant? Will we need to make copies and pass them out? Absolutely. They've already they put it out via email. Oh, I the see. The warrant so is. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It's sort of a legal document, if you will. I don't know if it's actually a legal document. Copies of it at the back. At time they sent it out by email today. Oh, so if you, so you want a copy, it's printed out or something. So they sent out the text of everything that they're planning on discussing on October 27th, 
but also on the information meeting on the 20th. Okay. So they just put it all in a big Google form and sent it out to everybody. But that's what they're they didn't send it out to everybody because I have never I never see these things. I you have to you have to you have to you have to sign up for the town. Yeah. yeah. When you for the what? When everybody you have to go to the town the website. Yeah. And I think on the first page somewhere you can put in your email address and say yes I want to be notified. Uh -huh. I want to get town emails or whatever. Yeah. Okay. I get the emergency ones, but not right. this, is a okay. this is more just general. Again, it sort of falls to the fact that yeah. Hadley doesn't yeah. have a great communication system. <laughs> well, some of us get this, some of it, and right. some of us don't. Okay. Okay. Right. Now. I, I just wanted to mention or suggest it's possible that after the 20th, they may revise things a little bit. Mm -hmm for the town meeting mm -hmm. and you usually get some kind of hard copy yeah at town so meeting. let's make sure before they print that out that maybe maybe we can sneak it okay in. yeah yes. well so, so I'll, well I'll that's what you brought weekend. up before did we need to get together sooner to work on this did we have time and i guess weren't they supposed to be holding a spot for us so we could turn it in the well, they held the spot and they filled it up they okay. filled it up with the statement okay. that we had yeah okay. Oh, there's not always a lot of follow-up all right so um moving on from there and thank you susie for doing that green communities so here's the latest we have just sent to williams wait before we go on one question how will we handle questions about the declaration no, during right. the town he's going to answer ah oh, yes thank you i think we have two people and we take turns you and susie i I'm open for that if you're open and interested. Well, I'm concerned about, you know, basically what what was his name told us that we need one person, one spokesperson. That was Randy. 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 Yes. So I think two is fine. I think two is fine. Okay. Two is fine. You know, if you, you know, yeah. you need support. Yeah. Yeah. Buddy. Well, bring up that either. Well, we, we we need to have a separate conversation about that then maybe yeah. how to stay on message and everything. Yeah. Okay. So you it's gonna be between you two, right? Is that or, what we're saying? Or, yeah. or they'll like we'll decide we'll figure that out. Which okay. Okay. yes. Right, so. But that's an important thing to consider because I don't know what questions we're gonna get from the floor, from the town of probably yeah. more like what we got at yeah, the, something at like the that. meeting. Okay. Because it's interesting on this um, prospective warrant that they sent out, we're the last item. They often, you know, like to build the tension and have keep everybody so there. Will show up just for that, and then they leave. Yeah. Theatrics of it all. <laughs> Was interesting too because they have a plastic reduction thing, and there's one line that they're recommending. No, that we have to delete. The okay. attorney general would not approve that. Oh, that's okay. that people it's against are required the law. To charge or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have to delete that. Yeah. So here's the latest on green communities, which we've been working diligently on. Thank you. Jacinta Williams from Pioneer Valley Planning Committee uh, pretty much has everything lined up, but she's struggling around finding enough places to improve the town energy consumption to really make a strong case for green communities. Why is that? We have so many buildings, no? We do, but evidently quite a few of them have been re-insulated. Windows don't really count. They've had some work done on their furnaces and boilers. Oh, both schools are get, or one of the schools is getting a whole new boiler. Why? So I I don't know. I haven't been any of No, I mean, things. why are they doing uh, instead yeah. of like air source so or something? She has almost everything set, but it wasn't done in time for the September 30th deadline. Green Communities allows new applications every six months. Right. So, so if we don't need improvements, then we don't get to become a green community? We need to find improvements. And we need to make the case on why we should be one of the green communities. Mm -hmm. So that's where it stands. So Jacinta is getting together with Mark Rabinsky, who's been guiding this whole process along. Mark is a real believer saying, 
there's got to be ways. Right. We're not there that green already. Be, there has to be buildings in Hadley that you can improve. And he will help us find some of those ways. Part of the problem is a lot of the accounting for the bills and all of that just took just into a long, long, long time for her to pull together. That's the very latest as of an email from Jacinta yesterday. Wow. And is only buildings that, that count? No. And vehicles, but like school buses don't count. So we Dump have, trucks don't we count. Have, in this town, I think we have one electric uh, charging station. Oh. One. We'll never get to green car green, you know, uh, vehicles if we you mean have that. You that the town did, or is there some stop? I shop? think uh, at the stop and shop on, on Russell. Um, right. So Well, there's all at the test, the test, the st charging station down here. The pride, pride. There's about a dozen okay, so behind them. Then maybe that, that person who said that didn't know all of them, but it just seems to me it's not nearly enough to oh, no. actually go to, you know, so that to me would be an important place to well, this should, build the like infrastructure. Well, there's every municipal parking lot should have one, right? It wasn't the library plan, or wasn't there some kind of plan for at some point to yeah. parking spaces? They've, they've wired one in, I guess, at the library. They can, it's not too much to have that done. Also, public public parking lot um, could have solar um, roofs to shield them, shade them, Can, and and yeah. get you know to massive solar. Yeah, I think what they're saying is, Hadley should get this money and work on improving existing buildings. So it's not necessarily forward looking, whether yeah, that's right or for wrong. Spend money on solar. They want us to improve our current buildings. It's supposed to be used for energy. Efficiency. And as Mark and Jacinta have these meetings, I will keep you all posted. So for March, we can put in this application. Okay. Is there anything that we should be doing to help her? Well, you know, I'm just, in, I would just like to hear the facts about the two school buildings. I, I can't believe that they're th that well insulated and stuff. But if they are, when was that done? And there have been a few renovations at yeah. Hopkins. Um, in this building was 1993 or something like that. So it's up to it's up to the stretch code. How about the police? Well, that stations? that's the report I keep yeah. wanting to see. Like whoever did the audit, yeah. when they say this building's insulated enough. Like there's that hers rating and stuff. Yeah. I just want to see the data. Yeah, I, I want to hear what Mark takes away from his meeting with Jacinta okay. and where things stand because Jacinta seems to have one sort of criteria and one bar we should be meeting. And Mark is like, I think there's other ways that we can get there. He's much more about getting it done because okay. this would be $130,000 for the staff. And we can't let all these months go by without getting this grant. Well, and it seems like the town doesn't move unless they have money. So, you know, what it's just... Town Hall, it's been upgraded. It's fully insulated. I mean, that's all frame building. Yeah. Well, that's, that's some of the stuff that Mark said we can take a look at. Okay. I mean, yeah. it's held together with duct yeah. tape, you know, probably. Um, that's... And I want to make sure everybody hears this because I heard it from someone um, through the library yesterday that they are looking at getting some of the shingles fixed on the south side of the roof. There were some issues. They weren't the best. Who knows what all the problems are? I'm not tuned into it before they put on solar. But that's the thing that's currently holding them up. They are trying to resolve the shingle issue. There's something wrong, something different on the south side? When it comes to the shingles, I think it's from the upper deck of the roof to the lower deck of the roof when you have rainstorms like today. The fact that it's just coming down very hard and washing in different areas, that's what's holding them up. I don't know what might be the issue with this building. It's actually leaking. Hmm? It's actually leaking. It's not leaking. But what they're saying is because of the two different roof slopes, it's coming down it's fast and hard on, a day, like. on days like today, and it's causing some extra wear. So they're trying to get it resolved. But that's why things have held up. So far, um, the library has money to move forward on it. 
money is not the concern. It's making sure that what the shingles. About senior center. I don't know. I don't know who's in charge of that. Okay. Um, I will say that it probably wouldn't hurt if we push a little on that with Carolyn and all of that. Of can we just move forward, pending that they'll come to some sort of resolution? It might be they only have to replace a couple hundred shingles, something like that. To like reinforce them or something. I would think also if you have solar panels, you're going to have solar panels protecting it, but. Well, it's very common that repairs on structures need to precede moving yes. to renewables, and it's holding it up very yeah. often. So I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not an engineer. What what it needs to happen? It shouldn't take a couple of years. Yeah. The other thing, too, and sort of related to this, it's interesting that Eversource is lobbying Hadley hard to try to get a generation station or, or do something with solar, I think, down by their plant. Yeah, battery and and so. Um, and I just wonder if our committee or if some of us as as individuals maybe speak up because honestly they're a bear to work with around getting solar installed. And here they are saying to the town, "I feel like it's a big PR." Move. I don't know. Right. Well, it's, it's good. a big bear. I wouldn't call it PR. This seems to we did a lot, and it's like it's a major bear. Battery, like, oh, well, that's good. Alternative. I mean, as long as they're not cutting down like 200 acres of yeah. forest to put it in. And where are they going to put this? Is oh, it right yeah, in the right there? there at that building? I, I read the article. That's extended now. When we talk about these basic so I mean, Drosdale is still alive on that strip of land right next to them. I don't know exactly where it is, so but this is, it is right the one at their building. site on Route Nine. Yeah, yeah, so it's probably like to the one east of it. Building. I think the east of it. Yeah, yeah. And is it right, basically in the floodplain? Yeah. So that just that drives me crazy. We're we're thinking mitigation without adaptation, right? Don't put a really important power source right in the floodplain. Dumb. Well. <laughs> On the 19th is the opportunity for public comment at the select board meeting. Good. And to say, we'll have to say something about it. That okay. is yeah. just we, really yeah. stupid. I mean, on the 20th. Is it the 27th? 27th. No, no. no. This, this, this is, is separate the, the from. regular select board. Meeting. This is oh. a regular select board meeting there. On the 19th. At, on the 19th. Okay. Okay. I would hope that we would make recommendations then to elevate whatever they do so it's above the floor of Yes. They're not attack what they're doing. But every time somebody proposes doing something, somebody says not in my backyard. And I think it's important for people to say not in my backyard but also the right there in a Right. I mean it's yeah, it's gonna yeah. provide I wasn't I, I I didn't completely understand whether they're gonna try to do a local distribution of the electricity or if it's what is in excess yeah. of what they'll use will just go to the grid. It's all about the grid. Everything is about the grid. And the batteries are basically when the wind is blowing and the sun is shining and there's more power being produced. Then it goes to the battery. Open the battery and back off. Okay. I think the part of the article that was confusing to me is how are they going to compensate the town as part of this? I mean, will could they pay for the electricity for our buildings? Or you know, is there something they can do for the community? I don't think that that part is resolved. At well, they made it sound like what they're doing for the community is they're going to be providing solar powered electricity. It said for four hundred. They made some reference to low income. Four hundred ninety-seven homes or something. Right to benefit low income beneficiaries. What that says to me is that there there is current solar incentives from the state that prioritize and provide extra incentives for. So that then makes its power to a low income. So they're probably taking advantage of that pot of money. Okay. And that's probably what they're talking about. Okay. But just to make everybody aware of that particular issue. Um, Michael, it's a perfect time if you want to jump in and talk a little bit about Valley Bike. Yeah, um, much to my chagrin, um, I guess the select board decided not to put on the warrant a vote on whether the town should join the consortium of, of towns of which South Hadley, South Hadley, yeah. Chickasaw, 
Oh, East Hampton, Hampton, maybe? Hampton West to West have the, the yeah. soul, to, to have the electric bike yeah. to, to, station. So there's this giant consortium of towns right. that pay a uh, four thousand bucks a town, or yeah. depending on how many stations they have, to this entity that manages right all this. And the malls would like to have yeah the stations there because it's going to bring them more business, and they only get that. Yeah, and they're in habit. And if the town of Hadley doesn't say we endorse this and we will come up with the four thousand bucks a year to be part of the consortium, then the pampas is the mall don't get their 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 bike. Right. And you know, I, I feel a certain sense of New Jerk Hadley too. I want it to be in the middle of town to serve Hadley residents. But that's not the way these bike shares work. They work in areas where there's lots of traffic and people go to those areas. Now, it's great to have an ancillary one. In, in yeah, that's area. what I'm thinking. It would be really nice to have two. And they can't make it all the way to Andrews. Right. They can rest. And uh, if you've ever rented these bikes, you have to dock them. And then, well, it's that business for you know, all the little businesses in, in Hadley for a little while. If, yeah. if we had one here, but that's. That's a second step, in my understanding, in this process. The very first step is to join this consortium. Yeah. And so... I thought, and what, I thought it was decided that we were going to join. I thought it was voted, no? No, the article in the paper said specifically that Carol and... Joyce Fellow said it was too much of a luxury. Oh, and that, well, and that Carol and said we can't afford it. Yeah. Um, it's not a luxury. This is for people who can't afford bikes. This is this is for people who can't. Well, people very definitely can't afford. You know. So, so how else could um, the town come up with the money, or does it have to come from well, the town's that, budget? The thing I thought we should discuss as a group is that the the mall obviously wants this thing to happen, and to use another head is full of twelve thousand dollars chunk change for mall. <laughs> and and I, I I I I'm I'm guessing that they might. Be willing to. I mean, Hadley has to be on the hook for paying that four thousand bucks a year yeah. for three years. But I, I would guess that maybe the, the if we went to the, and I got his name somewhere, the, the guy at the mall and said, "Hey, would you be willing to back Hadley and pay for part yeah. of this?" You know, because you are you talking about the owner of well, Pyramid is are they still the company who manages it's WS? I, I, yeah. Uh, yeah. I can look at, yeah. Well, and it's a woman's name that's been cited a couple of times talking yeah, about that news. Oh, Fun Hub and their signs. And... Anyway, I can, yeah. I can really want to know if somewhere in my home. I mean, account. maybe Target. Would... It sounded like they were saying, for now, let's table this for a year, figure it out, and revisit it. Yeah, it's the fun. I think they were a little bit confused by the financing. It is complicated. There's several pots of money that all have to work together. To make well, and also the Valley Bikes aren't they? There's some kind of management change going on there now too. Maybe I think and that made it sound like even more confusing. It's always tenuous. Always never going to support itself. It's always going to need an infusion, but it's very popular and it can really help people who don't have resources get the place. Yeah. Um, and do it in, in, a, in a way. Well, especially that whole shopping hub. I mean, for buying groceries or whatever. Yeah. So I, I'd like, if it would be okay with the committee, to be able to just do a little scratching yeah. on this, maybe go to the, the mall person and say, hey, do you think of the way you could, you know, make make the town happy and, and contribute a little bit to making this happen. I also want to, and you were going to answer the check, is, is it completely an impossibility to get on the warrant even at this point in time? Is it too I late? think now it's too late. I think they have a certain October 15th or whatever the actual deadline is, and then after that. But Michael, we could definitely focus on getting it on the spring more. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean, have. It's a ways, but it's not that far. Do well, not just let it fall by the wayside. And maybe, you know, since it's going to generate business, maybe there is something like not just half and half or, or whatever, a small contribution, but say, you know, you're going to be the ones mostly benefiting from it. So you do three quarters in the town, maybe come up with one quarter. Or oh, something. I think a tandem bagel, you know, the the bike shop right here, there's a number of different places. But again, that's second step. 
Right. The first, first step is getting a right. station at the Right, but people coming, traveling on the valley bikes yeah. might well stop there and there, you know. Yeah. I can see yeah. in the hotel, which is a long way second step because not to get too hard in the weeds here, but there's this initial little bit of money that you have to pay to join this consortium. The consortium kind of organizes yeah. the whole thing. Then the actual bikes and hardware and software is very expensive and costs like 50,000 bucks to actually do. And so then they, you have to go after federal highway money mm -hmm. in terms of the state to get that money. Again, mm -hmm. the consortium helps you do that. And the consortium actually has got money already pulled and identified for this first stop. First, right. All we have to do is pay up to join. All we have to do is join up and then they'll make that happen. So we better yeah. get the thing rolling so that we. It feels to me exactly like green communities. You know, we do yeah. the work and then we get access to a much bigger pot. So, right. It makes, yeah. I mean, it makes, makes perfect it's sense, better. but I'm like pro bike. You know, it doesn't take much to sell me. On this idea. So, do we agree? Yes, we want Michael to go to the mall yeah, people and totally. see what you yes. can Yes, that's yeah. 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 Well, for sure. Um, hey, Catalina suggests, and she's sorry that she couldn't make it to today's meeting, but she has actually written up a small statement of interest or whatever you call it for the. Massachusetts Cultural Council saying she would like to do some work around composting and spread the word. She has all that written up. And yeah, she sure. said if, it's in your email. If we're in agreement, you know, she would take it further. Huh. Do you want me to read it, what she wrote? Sure. Okay. Why don't you go on to the next thing and then? Oh, and I just put in um, something from Sunbug Solar, um, a dual uh, dual use agriculture and solar uh, photaic webinar on October 27th. What is it? Um, they're trying to spread the word about um, more solar for specifically oh, for farmers. farmers. Yeah. So actually integrating agriculture in any of the being with global agriculture called agro or something. Okay. Yeah, so you, cultural. Yeah. So you can have the sheep and the chickens underneath the panels. I, the chicken, the shit on the I'm wondering if this is something that we could send out through the town, our website on the town, because, you know, yeah. it is. this is, this is the kind of thing people... Just and send it to Jennifer. And she'll put it on that. Spread also. the word. Okay. I mean, it just and you know any other place yeah. where wherever yes. we advertise the our forum our our you know, input event B O S because yeah. you know we got a lot of pushback from farmers so why not put out solutions to them? Not yeah, definitely. Them. Yeah. I mean, we do. We need. Very... Okay. Nobody will be. They. Maybe a couple because they just re resist any or. Sounds crazy from a production point of view. You, you know, it sounds very, very limited in its application, and um, I'm all for it. And eventually, it's going to be something, but they're not going to be. Okay. Well, but, but there might be spread. some people. I mean, we still should let people know about yeah. it. Yeah. Then we can spread the word. I mean, it gets people thinking. Yeah. Okay, so that's something I can forward to Jennifer okay. and just ask her to spread the word of the town. Okay, here's. Do you want to read Catalina's yeah. proposal? Yep. Okay, the proposal will be this. The Hadley Climate Change Committee will carry on a project to promote compost, to promote that we already had it had at the transfer station a bin for compost and invited our community to compost. Why to compost? Because food waste produces a dangerous gas called methane, and by composting wasted food and other organics, methane emissions are significantly reduced. Compost reduces and in some cases eliminates the need for chemical fertilizers. Compo compost promotes higher yields of agricultural crops. We'll apply for funding to the Hadley Cultural Council to create a banner to display in the transfer station and to create a poster that will be displayed in stores, libraries, and other public places. We can ask the school if they can display one in their lunchroom. Also, we would print 200 postcards to make available to our residents. 
We will call for submission of artwork and pictures by the community that illustrate the benefits that compost bring. Life to plants by offering nutrients and big reduction of poisonous gases in the air we breathe, involving the community in this matter. We will be calling the attention to the big benefit compost brings to our world. I volunteer my work to coordinate this project. I want to demand money from the committee and no extra work. Please let me know if you have more questions or if this description is not clear. Catalina. And Catalina. keep in mind, Catalina's background is with the multi-arts program right. and all of this. But the only suggestion I have about that is, um, you know, when we put out for community artwork for uh, Climate Day, uh, I think she should also put it out to the schools and, and yeah. you know, invite <laughs> kids to do artwork about composting. I'm just wondering about the 200 postcards. Is that useful? I mean, we have so many more households. Um, is Can it be more specifically sent to the people who already go to the transfer station yeah. by email? You know, some collaboration or some, I don't know. That makes sense. I wonder if the town has, well, U.S. say would have a list if we can do that. So should, should we suggest to Catalina that she get in touch with USA? You want me to email? Because I have all their yeah, why don't phone we both, numbers. Why don't we both work on this okay. together? But if she has a quick turnaround. It's due by the 17th. Well, it's a small change right now to make in terms of just a, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe the postcard is fine, but I don't know who it would go to, how you select it. I'd rather have it come directly to me since I'm already, you know, doing the transfer. So, but what, what purpose are the, will the postcards, I, I don't know. It's Every time she brings this up, it's like, so just ask her, you know. Yeah, if you, if you I, I just don't her. understand exactly what she's going to yeah. try to and, do. And send it on my regular email rather than on a change. Yeah, I never use that. Right. Okay, postcards. Um, it seems like a more of a clarity conversation with Catalina. Like, what is, what's her goal? What's the goal? Yeah. Well, I know she's, like, super passionate about composting and she just really feels like everyone should be doing it and we should just be push put you know like if people knew how great it was they would just do it and you know she's been wanting to um infiltrate the schools well it's an interesting plan trying to connect with the cultural council that would actually that's not a bad thing yeah if we can you can't get some money going there. Change the culture around yeah. composting. Yeah. Um, you know, looking at the agenda, we have MVP plan, flooding in the dike, shade tree committee. I often, I kind of wonder if those are better served for the next time we meet. Um, you know, flooding in the dike is just so enormous. I don't know if that's anything that we want to venture into. Well, maybe not right now, but that they've already done that step one for the the um, MVP. Yeah. I mean, I think we should have a bigger conversation, and it might be worth you know talking with Carolyn. Like, what's holding? I mean, she knew, right? <laughs> I found out from the regional planner, MVP planner, that we have done that. We are in the MVP yeah. program. Carolyn actually followed up on an email that I sent out. Oh yeah, we did that. So why is nothing happening? And you know, and so I think, I think before we, need to we take can a figure out look at all who participated in that. Well, regardless, it's a it's a city plan, right? Right. But without us knowing what what's holding it up, I don't think we can make any strategic choices as to how to move forward on it. So well, maybe and I do a... wonder if one of our upcoming meetings we ask if she can sit in. And I won't be here on the tenth, uh, November tenth. So maybe the one after. Right, and, and flooding in the dike oh. could relate to that. Okay. Carolyn Brennan is the town manager. Okay. Sort of the boss. Okay. But also She's controlled the by checks. the select board. Okay. Yeah. 
of flooding and dike could be part of that with MVP. That's just such an enormous issue for Hadley. Hadley has well, a real problem. We need to pull the planning committee and then into it's flooding. It's happened before. Uh, just over the county. Well, and it's predicted that our our dike will not hold up well, if there's a major flooding event in the river. Hmm. That, I mean, this is, you know, big times adaptation planning, right? And I mean, if we can't get them out of their starting holes, this isn't going to go anywhere. But I think that's just a prescription for disaster because it will happen. It's just a matter of time. Is, is the um, the coordinator for Hadley, is that Andrew Smith? Do you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 And Andrew Smith and Josh. Shannon. And um, Julie Brigham Gretty were here about a month ago. We had a session in a public information session. We we tied in a number of different events, oh. sort of around the climate emergency resolution. There was a lot when we got together, but you know, we had a pretty good turnout. We had like yeah. 60. Oh, it was more. People. I counted it, it was 80 well, or more. Yeah. yeah. Well, Almost as many as we had for the, the for the for the climate day. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So I think this is a bigger item. Um, you know, and maybe it's really a bigger conversation what our role is if the town ever takes on real climate action. Yeah. Like are we becoming, you know, some kind of a citizen committee advising the town? That's pushing? what we're supposed to be. Yeah, right. Right now we're well, and I doing wonder, the work. <laughs> you know, Carolyn said that things will sort of slow down after town meeting, but I wonder if I put it out for next month. And it doesn't, our meeting doesn't necessarily have to be November 10th. It's going to be contained it depending on your schedule. Um, and just see if she can join us. Maybe we can even meet an hour earlier or something like that, just to be flexible and to get her here. Are you around the next week or week um so that's the week before week. I'm 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 here. Like the first week of November. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. So recapping tonight. Um some but things that are going to be happening is Susie is going to take one more pass at the, uh, declaring a climate change emergency and then send that out to all of us. So we'll have it. Um, whoever can attend is certainly encouraged to attend the select board meeting on the 19th and mentioning about elevating the panels and making sure that people really know that that's the floodplain and, you know, what's your plan B? Um, Michael, you're going to approach the folks at the mall around Valley Bike. You and I will spend some time talking to Catalina. Um, I'll ask Jennifer to spread the word about Sunbug Solar. And um, we'll see if Carolyn can consider joining us maybe for a 6 p.m. meeting. I don't know how that's going to work with people's schedule. I can but do maybe, that. Maybe. So it's it's really about the day. Um, yeah. Like, the, an, uh, like a year, a, a, a week before that works. We usually meet on the second Thursday. Next month, maybe we meet on the first Thursday if it's going to work with Carol. Okay. That would be great. So the meeting for the select board for the 19th is to talk about the Eversource that's and what whatever want. else they have on okay. hand. Right. But that's one of the big items because they heard everything from Eversource and what Eversource was promising, but the article was pretty cloudy okay. of what exactly will they deliver to the town. Where can you get information on this? I, I don't know anything about it. I can, no. I, Gazette. I'll find you the, you want me to forward you the article? That'd be great. Okay. Did you already send it out? I think I, I did. I think you did. You did. I, 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 I think I did. And so, is the select board meeting on Zoom or is it in person somewhere? I'm pretty sure they Zoom. You can go to the town website and there's the calendar in the sidebar. You click on the lit up date and it'll tell you. Okay. Well, with regards to Eversource, you may mention they're hard to work with, and I've dealt with them yeah. so a couple times with solar, and I've come to the conclusion that Eversource needs to be reminded that they are in a privileged position as a business, and they, in my opinion, they have forgotten that their public service, public utility, and they 
triggering their shareholders and they're going to be over public utility right. of their uh, charter. And so I don't know if I'll get into that legal select board, but we're sort of pointing out that they're asking for permission or approval mm -hmm. something that I think seems pretty straightforward, but when public or a private entity that's, that's the same thing, they throw up every single yeah. possible roadblock, including inflating, greatly inflating the interconnection fees to make the project feasible. Oh, I hope so. I don't. Please try to come to the meeting because you have some really good stuff in your head. So, and they're they're pretty notorious around here for um, what a pain they are. My wife and I are getting our solar redone on one side of the house, and they're not they're not great to work with. Yeah, I'm Back absolutely. You can't. You can't even go to their building and talk to them. They won't let you. That's absolutely right. I mean, it's, it's right. ridiculous. They won't let you into that building. They, they won't let you cross the threshold. Try to try to yeah, they would. They will threaten that. And they're a public business. <laughs> yeah, you can't get into them. Oh wow! They're just really, really difficult to work with, and it's sad because Western Mass Electric was very personable. They would work with you. That was my experience and my family's experience, and this. Is just different. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I have a different experience. <laughs> let James, James. It's been a private mm -hmm. entity all along, right? Yeah, but they have a new boss who's well compensated at Eversource. He's like ten million dollars a year, and you know, it's just it's unfortunate. And in terms of their what we're talking about here, in terms of their accessibility, literally just about. My taxes are just so we yeah. by anybody else. Yeah, it should be brought up, it should be a, a, a public statement, and then we can say we're going to work with you, but it can look rat. Yes, yeah, and it's the situation with the utilities is they're a huge roadblock to any type of yeah. progress when it comes to the solar, particularly. So, again, all the more reason. For as many of us as possible to go to the so that we don't want solar, we just want to know more about we want to know what you're going to do. Open up your office, yeah. so that people can go and actually have a conversation with person yeah. and they want to do solar. Please and, come and to and the we, meeting. <laughs> we want to know, and we want to know what you're going to do to spaghetti so that you don't take months and months every time, you know. And and I think we should have time to have other ways. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm <laughs> send me a bill for like, I have panels on my barn, and the, and the house next door is is schedules eat over to it. So like they share the power, and it goes along, and then right around this time of year they send a correction to the bill, and suddenly I owe seven hundred dollars. No idea where the bill came from. To get any answers from them is basically impossible because they yeah. have. Yeah. And they'll say it was always a, an accounting error. They, they were doing everything uh, by hand or something. You just have to take their word for it. You can't go to the office and sit down with them because that's not allowed. So, you, so you you're have getting a monthly them. statement every month, and then all of a sudden you get a new one. That is, that's not huge it's bill. Suddenly that $700 going to disappear the next month, too, right? I mean, it's like, who knows? I have no idea where I stand with them financially. And this, there's no. Accountability as far as I can tell. Well, no, please come. <laughs> well, I I don't have solar. I mean, my heart's in it, but I don't have all this info in my head because I live in an apartment. Anyway. Well, I think it works well for like a simple system where you're just using all the power. But if you're starting to overproduce and share between accounts, forget it. It becomes a boondoggle, and they do. That's not right. Facilitate it. So. Yeah, they're they're yeah. Just asking for That's stuff. Promising yeah. for yeah. you know having that business in time. Oh boy. Okay. We good? I think we're set.